Henrietta, uh, please, please go to your room, okay? I'm your wife. Look, I have the right to enter your room and sleep with you. <laughs> Baby, when last did you hold me? When last did you kiss me? And when like, did you uh, give love to me? Henrietta, Henrietta, please, 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 please. See, you're my wife. Nobody's contesting that. But have you also forgotten that you are my helpmate? Sweet, I need to attain a high level of spiritual upliftment. You have to help me do this. See, let's not be tempted by the flesh, okay? I mean, let's not allow ourselves to be tempted by the flesh, please. Okay? Okay. Okay. I um I heard you, okay? And I really do understand what you're passing through. But it's just for a while, okay? And I should advise you seek strength in the Lord, and it shall come to pass. Just wipe your tears and be happy that your husband is, you know, advancing in the things of, you know. It is not coincidental that your husband chose a time like this to embark on such prayers. It will not only be beneficial to the church, but also to you. So what am I saying? Give him a little more time. Be supportive and everything will be fine. Are you sure, Daddy? Daddy, you don't understand. I don't understand how I feel. The loneliness. At times, I feel so empty inside. I, 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 I don't. Listen, it will be all right. I will make time to see him and talk to him about it. Okay? I do understand how she feels about it. You know, I feel for her daughter, but you see, uh, I just have to do this. I feel strongly in my heart that this is what God wants to do, and to do at this particular moment. I just have to, to do it. I know you have to do this, but not to the detriment of your matrimonial duties. You must have a balance place between your spirituality and that of your happy home. You understand? It's all right, sir. I do appreciate everything. Okay. God bless you, sir. I'll see you around and be good for Christ's sake. All right, sir. See, I'll have to call the senior pastor in charge, okay? Alright. Because I'm not yet capable of handling such a case. Okay, pastor. So you have to wait a little longer for him to come, okay? Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you. Alright, let me call him. I'm 
so sorry for everything. You know all the pains, the anguish, the stress I must have called, I must have cost you, you know. I'm so sorry. See, I, I, I was so ashamed of myself, you know, and beaten by guilt when, when uh, uh, Brother Jonathan narrated how you cried, you know, I, I felt so bad. I'm sorry. But Pastor Nemec also talked to me, I just knew to all that. I've not been there for my sweetheart. I've not been there for my beautiful wife. It's okay. Sorry about everything, okay? Okay. Do I get a kiss for that? Hello? Yes? What? Jesus! She... Oh, okay, 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 take it easy. Just take it easy, alright? Okay, it's okay. Alright. Okay, okay. There's no problem with that. What? Sweet, I have to rush to the church to save a soul. Do, 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 you, do you know that? My God. Do, Jesus Can you God. hear yourself? What? Mm, can you hear yourself? I just said I have to rush to the church to save a soul. So can I hear myself? What's the meaning of that? Save a soul? Huh? <laughs> so funny. Oh, you want to rush to the church and save so why am I should die? Is that what you want? No. Oh no! Let me get it! Now we're in the middle of something and then you, you just suffer go and then be like, it's oh I'm going to the church to save the soul, why am I my should die? Uh, can you just hear yourself? When are you go. coming back? Is there anybody out there who feel exactly how I do? Is there anybody out there? Jonathan, is that you? Oh, you're here. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't want to disturb you. I'm with the kids. Is there anybody out there? It's okay. Godwin didn't come with you? No. He's still attending to a possessed dying woman at the church. He will soon be back. Don't worry, okay? No. It's okay. See ya. You're welcome. All right. Thank Take care of yourself. Thank you. Good night. Good night. You come home. When are you coming back? Is there anybody out there who feel exactly how I do? I just want to let you know that dinner is served. 
Okay, I'll, I'll be there soon. Alright, hurry up before it gets cold. Okay, ma. Thank you. Never knew what I've been missing. Now you've gone away. And every day I keep on looking out for you. Oh, oh, oh. This is delicious. Oh, thank you. Yes, it is. So why are you refusing it now? Come on, babe. Just 
just a nightmare. Kiru and I have agreed to go and see uh, our brother, Barry, and you know, so that we could tell him about the wedding arrangements. He calls himself Godwin these days. But why do you want to inform him, since he doesn't want to associate with anybody? Mama, he doesn't want to associate with anybody, but he's still your son and my brother, remember? Okay. It's all right. At least let him know that someone can make out time and visit someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. Very correct. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Jonathan, it's obvious those flowers are not ready, which means Madame cannot take it to the women forum. So please. Uh, you go home, tell her to let the women forum people understand that uh, the flyers will be ready before the end of the day, okay? You go back, 
tell her meet her at home and be back quick because there's a whole lot we need to sort out. There's no time, please. All right, Pastor. Yeah. These are the flyers. Wow, they are ready. Yes. You see the way God works. I never knew they were going to be ready, you know, before this. I just sent somebody to let my wife know that uh, they will be ready before the end of the day. But it's okay. Do you have the rest in the car? Yes. Good. So let's go so that I I'll take them straight to my All right. wife. Uh, All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. I hope we are not owing you. And I'm not at all. That's it. On the other hand, you could check him out. Well, it's quite unfortunate. We don't know where he stays. Okay, maybe I'll help you with the address. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Is it? Right, thank mm -hmm. you very much for your kindness. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Finish everything that will make him need me in the next two hours. Okay, that's all right. Okay. The most important thing is that we are here right now. Let's do this. Um, baby, let's go to the room. I want to show you some new fix. Okay, okay. See, uh, I'll have to get home to get a proposal. Per chance we miss each other, tell them to wait for me, okay? Oh, yes, Pastor. Any other thing? No, Pastor. Okay, good. Jesus. 
Stop hawking. Right? Yes. And how did you know my next choice of words? Listen, gorgeous. I've heard that line like a million times. But all you guys really don't know what a girl needs. And what about if I don't only know what need. What if I provide them? <laughs> Impressive. That's a new line. <laughs> All right then. I'll stop hawking if you stop picking up call girls. That was how she came into my life and I became a changed man. I owe her a lot. I owe her a lot. And one thing she never did was to be unfaithful to you. She was never unfaithful to you. You know, we were here last week and uh, met your secretary and she said you've gone home and we collected your address and we couldn't trace your house. And uh, here we are today. Thank God we were able to meet you in the office. So this is why we came. 
My brother, I, I thank you so much. I was told you people came. I, in all things, you give thanks. Uh, it's so unfortunate that I couldn't meet you two people, but uh, here we are again. God orchestrating everything, you know, to unfold at this moment. You see, my brother, the ways of God are greater than the ways of man. I have heard you talk in everything you have said. I feel the pulse of truth in everything you have said. And I want to thank God because you are indeed a contact point. But I'm so happy and so elated to hear that you are stepping into the great institution of marriage because it is honorable unto the Most High God. Marrying my sister makes me happy, but beyond that, the Bible says, he who finds a wife but did not stop at finding, obtaineth favor. No, he said, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and goes beyond it to say and obtain it favor from the most high god brother the good lord is about to embarrass you with goodness greatness fame favor blossom bliss as you begin to step into this wonderful institution of marriage you know let us pray father i want to thank you for a moment like this you see in all things give thanks lord Father, Barry, Barry, I can't comprehend what happened to you. But I'm glad I'm alive. I'm alive to see a better man in you. Just look at you. Take a good look at yourself. Kneeling down before the same person you call all sorts of names. Pushed out of your life. Even after all the warning. Barry, all I want you to know is that this same person was the one taking good care of me when you abandoned me. Mama, please forgive me. I'm sorry for everything I did. Mama, I'm a changed man. And I want that change to reflect every other aspect of my life. Please, Hadley, accept me back into your life. You know, just like you did in the past. Uh, and you brought me back. Please, I'm sorry. Accept me back into your life. you Barry no Barry is gone forever with all the wrongs I did to you in the past Godwin please call me Godwin
I still don't know what you're talking about. Can't you see that I'm a changed man now who have decided to settle down with his unbeliever of a daughter? Can't you see that? As your coro, if there is any other way I know, I would have used it to beg you to forgive me for my wrongdoings. Naya, please. Oh. I know how you feel. My big guy, Naya, please. We were both to witness to my son's stubborn mistake. I tried all I could to set him right, but he wouldn't listen. Please, my in-law. Let us still witness the change from Barry we all knew to Godwin, whom we now see. I am begging you, my in-law, accept the pleas of a poor widow. And I tell you, you would have added more years to my life. I beg you, be good. Um, okay, okay. I have heard you all, but I don't have much to say now until I have seen I spoken with my daughter, who would then tell me. simply blinded by my creed. I know I sinned against God and most importantly against you and your family. Uh, the, the time I have the time I've been confined to this hospital bed has given me the opportunity to, to really question myself, to really ask myself to face myself. Katrina, mean, I, I know sorry is not enough, but please do find it somewhere in your heart to forgive me. You know, when Adeline told me what happened, I knew I had to come. Please, beg her to forgive me too. As you can. I'm not just here because I want to forgive you. No, am I just here because I'll beg Adeline to forgive you. I'm here to lead you to the light. I'm here to make you understand that you have to give your life to Christ. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow each again. That Jesus is the light you need to come out of this darkness. But, are you ready? Are you willing to receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? Ejika, are you ready to, 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 to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes. Let us pray. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you died for me. I believe you resurrected. I believe you resurrected. Jesus. Jesus. My weakness. It's due time. The Lord's blessing. He said, "Do not despise the days of little beginning." Not little or little, but I have a vision. I see myself as a man of God 
bringing the word of God in a, in a hall that has, that has a capacity of speaking 24,000 people and having people fall under the anointing he has placed on my head, it shall come to pass. Amen. I have seen it from here. So how many people do you For now, 500, 600, but we are growing. The Bible says, do not despise the days of our little beginning, and this is our days of little beginning. And I know it's going to manifest in this time. This is the pulpit. This is where the word actually comes from. My desire is to have a pulpit that has some golden design, you know, as Solomon, yeah. you know, the program, you know. It shall come to pass that TV takes a couple of dollars and you name them, yeah. all things like that. Then we have the elders come soon, the, the elders sit. Do the you have a choir and drama group? Yes, yeah, yeah, we will have everything, choir, drama group, different, you know, uh, youth empowerment group, women fellowship. A widower's outreach, uh, the what we Because I'm passionate about the drama group. Yes, yeah, you get you have the OGS, the operation Good Samaritan, but we care for lost souls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Ash Sunday school. Sunday school, students, church, everything. I took you over to the other aspect of the church that is the headquarters the offices. Oh, that's not true, Barry. Godwin. Pastor Godwin, not Barry. Barry was in the past. Pastor Godwin talks with you. Okay, Pastor Godwin. That's right. If you want me to know more about the Bible, you're going to have to teach me. Why not? Uh -uh. Two, mm -hmm. you're also going to have to change my name. Why not? I'll change your name right away. You know what? I'll call you Francesca. You started again. Mm -hmm. You started again. You know what? I really think you need a new name. And I'll call you Hevziba. You know what that means? It means the Lord delights in you. Hevziba, the Lord's delight.
Oh! 